What's going on guys, Moche69 here coming to you with another Photoshop CS5 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put pictures in text. So let's just jump right into it. First what you're going to want to do is open up the picture that you want inside your text. Once you have that done, come down here and unlock the layer by double clicking on it. We're going to rename it Fill, because that's going to be the filling of our letters. Hit OK and it'll unlock the layer. Next, create a new layer by hitting this button right here. Make sure it's on top of the fill. And come over here to your paint bucket. If it's not already selected, it's the one right above the little dropper. Um, hold left click on it, then bring it onto the paint bucket tool and let go. Now, come over here to the color on the foreground, make sure it's white, hit OK. Then you should simply be able to just click on the picture, and it'll turn white. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is come down here and drag the picture on top of the layer that we just created. Next what you're going to want to do is come over here to the text tool, create a text box, okay, then just start typing in it. Whatever you want. I'm going to use Colorado because that's what this is a picture of. Okay, now hit the tick when you're done with that. Come over here to the move tool, move it around wherever you'd like it. If you still aren't satisfied with that, hold control and hit T. It'll bring up the freeform transfer. Transform. Oh, sorry. sorry about that. Change it to whatever you'd like. Move it around. That looks about good right there. That's a little too big. Alright. When you're done with that, come up here to the tick. Okay. Now come over here and drag the fill layer over the top of the text layer. And come up here to layer, create clipping mask. It'll make this right here. Basically that's how you want to do it. Now to make it look a little bit better, click on come down here to the text, right click, and go to blending options. You can add some drop shadow to it. Okay, once you have that, you're pretty much done. Now, if you don't want this white background on this, and you want to just use this for, say, put this over another picture, you can come down here and delete this layer one. This is on here just so you'll have a white background to make sure that your foreshadow and your background is background on your letters is how you want it. So just drag this to the trash can. There you go. You can use this and anything you want. Come over here to file save as just save it as a jpeg or whatever you'd like to use it for hit save okay now bring if this isn't already bring it to the large file just so it's at maximum quality so it looks the best hit okay and when you're done with it should be wherever you saved it and that's how it's gonna look so uh, i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um... if you have any requests or anything like that on what i'd like to do on something you'd like to do on Photoshop just let me know and uh, I'll try to get back to you so hope this video helps you guys um, don't forget to comment subscribe and like this video thanks a lot